This AI art generator is currently free and it actually creates some pretty high quality images. It's called cart.ai and I'm gonna run you through how to use it today. So you head to cart.ai and to sign up, you can just simply go straight to login and it gives you a few options. I'm just gonna sign up with Google, give yourself a nickname and pick the type of art you'd like to see. And I need to confirm that I'm over 18 years old because there's a lot of adult content in this site. I'm gonna start using. Now, CR are actually sponsoring this video, but I will say there are a ton of tools and really awesome features to play with. Now, there's a lot to look at here. You've got some art categories, you've got some creators, and then we've got like a few galleries here and videos and things like that. One thing you can do if you want to get started is head straight down to Featured. And if there's any of these that you think you want to try, you can just hover over and try them out for yourself. And that can be a nice way to ease in and start using the platform. But if we want to start, from scratch, we go up the top here to AI painting and we click on that. And now there are a whole bunch of settings here, but let's say we're gonna start just with whatever is here. We're gonna say the steely gaze of a grizzled warrior straight out of the box before we play with any setting. And we've now created our first image. So if we wanna pick one of these, maybe we decide we want to pick this image here. The quality is not bad at the moment. However, it's only 768 by 768 pixels. So we do want to try to upscale it. We've got two upscalers here. We've got the standard upscale, uh, a more stable effect, and the generation limit is 4096 by 4096, and a creative upscale, and it adds more details. So let's experiment. Let's try upscaling with the standard upscale. We submit. And let's also try the creative upscale and see what we get. Now, this is the first upscale, which done a pretty good job. However, you can see the eyes are pretty kind of choppy compared to the creative upscale, which actually enhanced the detail and produced a much smoother image. Now, if I decide I want more resolution out of these images, here's a couple of ways you can do it. One, I can go back to my original, I can hit upscale, and where it says upscaler, I can choose different upscalers here, but I can crank this up to 4X, which will make the image four times the size. However, if I actually go back, go back to generate, and we come to our smooth upscale here, the creative upscale, for one, we can get uh, variations to see how it generates some of the other details, or I can upscale from here. So I'm gonna put this, the upscaling ratio is at four, which is actually a little bit too big, but uh, if we take it to about two and a half, that'll get us close to that 4,000 pixel resolution. So now we've got our creative upscale and we're going to now upscale that image. I'm gonna hit submit. And now our image is much larger and it also was enhanced before this. So we've kind of combined the best of both worlds. We can zoom right in and get a nice sharp image that uh, is actually very high resolution for an AI art generation. Now we also have a few other options here as well that we can choose to use for our images to kind of get a bit more control. I can take this mode here. So I'm gonna go, these are different modes of sort of models we can use. I'll go CR 2.1 since it's the newest. And then from there, we can choose certain models. And these models are basically trained models of different images that'll get you different effects. Dream Shaper seems like a pretty good one. So we'll go with that. There's also a Laura we can add. So we can choose other options here as well. But uh, I'm gonna leave that just as it is. And under image mode, we have standard high quality by default. We'll go ultra high quality this time. And we can also change the aspect ratio. So let's say we, since we're creating a video, we can change it to 16 to nine. So that is 16 units wide by nine units tall, basically the same ratio as this video as opposed to a square image. So we'll go with 16 to nine, although you can customize that by the looks of it. So you can customize the ratio by changing the size there. We're gonna to go to 16 to nine and you can also restore faces. So let's click that. And before we go ahead, there's also some other advanced things like negative prompts. These are automatic. Uh, these are pretty good just to keep in there, but if you wanna play with these, there's a, and these are a bit more advanced, but we can leave those for now. And then there's also facial replacement. So we can actually add a face in there from someone else, which we will try after this generation. But now that we've cranked the quality up and changed the aspect ratio, let's try the steely glaze of a grizzled warrior and hit. So now you can see here by changing the model and the settings, we've got a wider image, but by changing the model itself, we've got completely different imagery than what we had before. So you can actually experiment with some of these models up here or choose more to explore what's available. Now these will actually be going, there's favorites, there's models I've created or I can explore more here. So there's all these different models I can choose from to try and create something really cool. 
But um, so we've got something different, like take a look at this one. And it's actually restored the face a little bit, which I think is pretty cool. But this time, uh, instead of upscaling that, we'll just keep going. I'm gonna actually do the same thing, but with a facial replacement in here. I found this face on pexels.com. So I've downloaded it. I'm gonna upload it into the facial replacement, dragging and dropping. So we have our face here now, and I'm gonna just pump that up a little bit, just a tiny bit to see how it goes. And now I'm going to copy the prompt and generate again. Now it's created our image for us. We can open it up and it has, I think it has kind of tried to use that face in there. It has uh, influenced, I think, the color of the hair and kind of the overall composition of how sort of light the image is in general. And after upscaling it, you can see that it's uh, created a pretty cool image and is very good with facial features, wrinkles, while also keeping a very sort of artistic look to the overall picture. Now remember, if you don't wanna to have to go through all this information, you can always go to your mode and just simply set it to auto and it will pick the best mode for you. And then you can just simply choose your quality, your aspect ratio, and you'll probably even just leave it from there. If I type in something similar again, like a powerful warrior, this is where things start to get really fun with C art. I can actually click on this little magic wand and it will enhance my prompt and add more information in there. So let's send that through. So these are some of the images we were able to create using that magic wand feature. These haven't been upscaled. These are just the smaller images. Pretty cool results, I think. And uh, from looking at the prompt, definitely followed that one pretty closely. But you can also use what's called a random prompt. Down here, there's a little dice symbol. You can just click that and it'll roll, roll, and it will continue until it creates something that we want to play with. So let's say we want to play with this masterpiece, best quality. I don't know what it is, but if I click on it, it adds in a whole bunch of information that we can use and creates a prompt for us again. So if I send that prompt through, so you can see the sort of image we got from our random prompt with some pretty cool and very similar sort of variations in that anime style. The other thing too is under advanced, you do have image to image. This is where you can upload an image and the AI art generator will use that as reference for the image it creates. So if I upload an image of a horse and I can use intelligent analysis and I can create a prompt. And then if I decide to send that through, I can create an image that is, based, that is very similar to the one I supplied. But another thing you can also do is use control net. And the idea of control net is it'll find certain details you can use to reference for your image. So it'll actually reference the edges. Uh, it's the same with anime, it kind of references that outline so you can change certain details or colors. Or the pose, it'll actually reference how someone is standing and use the pose to help generate more images that way. Another powerful tool you can use when generating images with C art. However, there's also some other cool features here like tools like expansion, if I drag this image from Pexels in, it'll perform its intelligent analysis, and I can drag these handles out to extend the edges of the image. I can't go in, but I can drag the handles out and try and add some background to the image. It's done its intelligent analysis, but I can just say here, warehouse, which is basically what the background is, and I can hit the generate button. And you can see we've got a few variations on how it's added extra information either side of that image. So it's a great way to sort of uncrop and zoom out. However, if you choose an image that is large, it may shrink that image down to a smaller size. So that's something to consider when actually using this tool. Check your settings if you can max to see if you can maximize that any further to match your image size. Another one here is upscale. If I click on upscale, I can drag in this image, which is 500 pixels by 500 pixels. So it's not very high resolution. It's a 500 pixel by 500 pixel image. I scale that by four. That'll take it up to about 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. So let's submit it and see how it goes. We now have our upscaled image and it's done a pretty decent job of it. While it's not perfect, it has increased the detail and done a really good job for an image that is actually pretty small and um, kind of used AI to sharpen up those details. So. A pretty decent free upscaler available through CART AI if you want to check that one out also. We've also got Describe. So we upload that same face from before, hit Submit, and you can see how it's described that image. And it looks like we can actually press any one of these buttons. So let's hit number two. And it's brought up pictures that are very similar that have been generated by other users, which is actually pretty cool. And now we can move on to Preview. So once again, we're going to upload the image of the horse hit submit 
And what this has actually done has created the map for control net to sort of show us how that's going to look. And I can actually go back in. If I go back into preview, and if I were to re-upload my image, but I can choose which model I want to see the preview for. So that way I get a bit of an idea of how that's going to work if I do decide to use an image in control net. There's also Prompt Studio, which allows you to kind of uh, add in a prompt and it'll help you sort of craft a prompt from there for use with your AI art. But uh, another thing you should also look at is the fact that if I go back, now there is a credit system. You notice I have 150 credits here. I haven't actually used any credits today by uh, doing what I've done. As you get 60 free daily generations and these credits start to be spent after you've used those up. But you can see here where I've actually managed to claim some credits, but you can go to this task list and you'll see there is some different things you can do to claim credits. So join CR Discord channel. You can do that right now. Invite a user to unlock the hide slash public work permission. All these little tasks you can do will help you generate credits for free. So you don't have to pay for them. You can just do this in order to actually uh, improve your credits and therefore generate more art. Now also under AI model very quickly, since we've been focusing a lot on the AI art side of things, is I can actually create a data set and train a data set. So that way if I upload my own images, I can use that as a model for generating art with and it'll reference those images so I can take a bit more control over the style I want. And I can also upload a model if I have one and the same with a Laura, upload a Laura as well, which is another sort of type of model. But the other thing is if you want to actually see more art or get some inspiration, head over to the explore tab and you can check out some images that have been generated by other users to get a little bit more inspiration as well. But finally, there's also AI chat. If I go to AI chat, there's Emily here, a conversation that has sit, was there automatically. She asked me how my day was. I said, I'm making a video, having fun. And she responds. And you can always then continue that conversation as you would a normal conversation. There's also some other tabs over here on the left. I go to chat here and I can add a new chat. I've got personal chef, but I really like this theme tab here where I can actually do things like create a video script or summarize some text. So if I go to say text summarize, it says, can you summarize the provided text into four to eight words? No additional input is needed if you're ready. I hit apply. I've got some text I've stolen from one of my blog posts about YouTube. This may be a bit challenging for it to get 10 to four words, but I will send YouTube Studio Editor Blur Music Trim. So you can use that as uh, to summarize, but you can also change the formula. What if I, if I check, take this here, paste that and this time I say three sentences and I say in three sentences and hit send so now if I take a different bit of text just some random stuff off my blog as well something a bit longer and hit send it summarizes it down to three sentences now also I can go back to this theme again and keep adding to it so there's things like a uh, astrologer personal chef uh, there's also fitness trainer so I'm gonna hit apply here. It starts off with a formula. So this is the formula to train the bot. Click apply. I said, I'm out of shape, cannot do a single push up. What exercise should I do to get stronger? Hit send. And you can see it's given me some exercises I can use in order to actually do a push up. So it's pretty cool and it's a great way to sort of explore. It's kind of like a chat GPT style chat bot. Uh, all within CART AI with a bunch of sort of preloaded sort of like programming you can add to it and role playing you can use. And there's also just AI companion that you can just talk to someone. So talk to an AI like you would a person. And it's a, it's a pretty powerful platform. So check out CART.AI. It is an awesome AI art platform also coupled with the AI chat, like I said, a chat GPT style chat room that you can use to come up with information. You could probably uh, even ask for ideas for art to create. It's really an all-in-one AI package that really does a pretty good job across the board and is definitely worth checking out. There's a link in the description below. Otherwise, just head to cart.ai to check it out. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it interesting. If you did, please consider giving it a like and I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.